Hey guys, this is Hot Noob here, and today I'm going to be continuing on about the Playbook Simulator and how to get your own custom applications on it. Um, today I'm going to be going over the method of using WebWorks, which is pretty much converting um, an HTML5 documents or whatever into um, an application for the Playbook device. So yeah, I thought I'd just um, use this little bit here, um, cause, just because it looks pretty cool. <laughs> this is uh, the game I'm working on, and this is a prototype, and this is how fast level 1000 would be. And each one of these stars would be something that you have to shoot down. Anyway, um, I'm going to get right down to it. First of all, I'm going to open up, actually I already have it open here. I'm going to open up the virtual machine. Now, um, there's something you should be aware of with the virtual machine. If you just close it and it'll save the state of it, it, um, it won't let you connect back to it. So every time you want to reconnect after if you've closed it, you have to power it down or whatever, right? So um, if you don't mind your, while you're developing your application, you're probably going to want to keep it in um, just running in the background. <clears throat> so first of all to make your application you need to put it into a zip file. So you're going to add it to an archive actually that'll be a pr pretty big so I'm just going to get rid of all of the non-mp3s I got in here. I'm going to pause this while I set everything up. Okay, anyway, um, all you got to do is select the files you want to add in your application, add it to an archive, and you want to put it in a zip format. Oops, wrong files. There we are. I'm not sure what the compression has to do. I don't think it really matters what uh, or how well you compress it. Anyway, then you're going to open up command prompt and you're going to go to um nope, the other one. Here we are. You're going to go to your program files and wherever you installed the BlackBerry WebWorks SDK for the tablet OS. So um, I put it in the default location, so research in motion slash um, BlackBerry WebWorks SDK for tablet OS 2.0.0.4 slash BWP. Right? Then you're going to want to go um, BBWP <clears throat> put in the location for your application zip um, hn app slash hn app dot zip and then um, you can say uh, negative d if you want to debug it or whatever right um, I'm going to go over the XML here. You can get the XML format in the documents or just from the, the example application, but I've kept it down to the most basic um, author, content, description, name, and I didn't bother to put an icon on it. You can put an icon on it easily, by the way. Okay. Um, yeah, the config thing is the most important part, I guess. 
I'll just open it up again and explain it a bit. Um, the contents, um, that's where you put your first, your main HTML file, right? In this case, I just went along with the whole trend of naming it index.htmm. Right, and anyway, uh, here it's finished, right? It says WebWorks application packaging complete. If you screwed up somewhere, um, you'll it probably won't um, complete it. Uh, okay, the next step you have to do is you have to go into your playbook simulator, right? Type in your password, and you can use your keyboard for typing in. Should be able to. Okay, well, it doesn't like me today, so I'm just gonna have to click it in. Okay, um, yeah. So then you go to this little icon here, you click it, and make sure you have development mode and write down this IP address because you will need it. it. That's the IP address of your um, simulator, right? Um, if you have a special format or auto run with uh, command prompt, you will want to disable it because it will completely screw up with this, right? So make sure you disable it from your registry keys if you customize it. That's why my command prompt colors are different. So the next part takes um, just a bit more effort. So you go BlackBerry, right? Um, you have to change the directory from where you were to BlackBerry tablet SDK slash bin. And then you go BlackBerry um, berry deploy install app. And you put in your, uh, or you go password, right, as a parameter, and you put in your password, so playbook. Then you go device, then you put in the IP address, so whatever you have here, 192.168.184.128, right? And then you put in the package, and you put in the location to the dot bar file so playbook dev slash hn app and um, it will be in your bin folder because we didn't specify any output path and you put in hn app dot bar or whatever your application zip was called press enter and it'll take a bit of time hopefully I type it all in right Oops. I'm just going to close this because I didn't actually um, make it very well. It has a memory leak in it. <laughs> Sadly enough, I was just pretty lazy. Uh, there we go. Sending install request. That just took a little while to connect. It usually doesn't take that long. I think it's because my uh, virtual machine is low on memory or whatever. Because my hard drive is totally full. Anyway, I'm just going to pause this while it sends. Okay, there we go. So, gives you some info, right? Action, install, um, file size, and then it's processing. And then it has this progress bar sort of thing. Then it says result successful. So that means it was installed on your virtual machine. And if you're doing this for the first time, um, your icon will just start showing up. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that task manager. So you can get rid of that, close that, and then you just go to your application. And hopefully your application will work. And ta-da, you get it working, got music playing in the background, um, yeah. 
I don't know why, but that just looks so coolly to me. It sort of looks like it's um, spinning. You know. Anyway, uh, this is Hot Noob. Come check out my blog at hotnoob.com. If you have any questions um, about installing the software, right? If you're having trouble with it, please make a comment on my blog and I'll try to help you with that. Anyway, uh, my blog is at hotnoob.com and come check it out.